Hi Fatima, I'm going to just be going through the presentation and hopefully integrating it into a little video. This is screen one that you see in front of you and uh, it's showing how people normally use Google um, but you'll see whenever they type in panel beater or panel beaters or spray painters it comes down, there's a drop down immediately uh, for the visitor then they can make a decision as to where they want to go. Now a lot of people go to the very first one that comes up. It says panel beaters near me. And when they click on that one, <coughs> it makes use of Google Map uh, and, Go and obviously Google My Business, which includes Google Maps and it includes Google Places. So <coughs> if you just click on panel, panel beater, generic one, then remember you are looking across the entire world okay so your, com your competitive keyword is very high and you're never going to get onto the first uh, page ranking with that unless you have lots of magic added to your um, your SEO and you've paid lots of adverts and it's cost you a lot of money and you have to look after it every day like a baby all right but that's not what you want and we'll, we'll talk about that soon So the second screen, you will see the search term in the top, which is a keyword. That's point one, point two. You will see how many results that gets. That's why I say it's totally competitive, and you don't want to compete in a 24 million um, a range of results because you're only wanting to really compete in a localized area, um, let's say southern suburbs or in the uh, Newark Fishhook area. Okay, so you need to bear that in mind. However, what is very interesting, when I did the search, when I clicked on search, it immediately got very close to where I'm. I'm in Musenberg, and um, but interestingly enough, I used to stay in Dipriva area, and the place that I often frequented is in Kirstenbosch. So Google tracks me all over the place. They know more or less where I'm going and when I log into the computer and it does an algorithm and so it looks at the closest area so you can see it's very close to me I, after focusing from the world it looks right to near me that's called you know near me so it could be panel beta near me but it, even though I've just chosen panel beta it's actually looking near me all right so now I want to the bottom little screen says that um, if I've activated I, if I've activated Google to know my location then it narrows down the search to Cape Town near me so in most cases when people go into Google it's all going to ask you do you want to switch on Google location to ask you to switch on especially when you go into Google Maps because it's wanting to know where you are in relationship to where you want to go because let's say you are in uh, I'm in Musenberg, but I want to go to Fishhook, and I'm looking for something in Fishhook. And it's going to ask me, switch on your Google location. I switch it on, and then it means I can get direction from where I am in Musenberg to um, to Fishhook or to your location. If it's if I'm looking very specifically at, and I zero in on your own location. Okay, so that's the purpose of Google, and the, and in particular Google Maps. Okay, the third screen, as you will see, it's got the same panel beta at the top. It's got uh, the same search term uh, with the same, certain same results. Now, most people, whether they um, are really uh, um, very literate or technically in mind, they will uh, want to click on the map or because they see their their businesses I mean that's far away from their business so even if they want to look closer to Berkfried because there's a lot of little pictures there's a lot of uh, markers red markers on there by the way all the red markers as you know are businesses with a Google my business profile 
So it means they've got, they're on the Google map and having gone through the same process you went to. But, but obviously the ones that stand, the ones that stand out, if you look at the Bergfried area and the Plumstead area, are the businesses that are best indexed on Google. They're best indexed in Google My Business and the SEO on their websites are at, at the very best and again we'll have to talk about how to get there stay there we've already sent you information about your web how to get your website fully search engine optimized and now I'm working on the Google my business optimization okay so when you click on the map above then the following Google my places from Google Google my business comes up and I'm going to show you that in the next screenshot okay so if as soon as I click on the above map based on where I am you'll see that something different happens right so now when I've clicked on the map something very interesting happens it opens the map wider and it it, it zooms in a bit because you've still got panel beta you haven't got fish hook. you have still kept a very wide range but Google is very clever in terms of the algorithms because if you switched on your Google map location then it's going to look still a lot closer to you so if you look on the left hand side you'll see there's a number of uh, identified uh, panel beaters and if you you could scroll right down and in actual fact you scroll right 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 down you're probably not going to find yourself because it's just too many there's, there's probably going to be hundreds and hundreds to scroll through um, but but it's going to give preference to the ones that are marked uh, as red flags and again the reason for that is they are well optimized Google my business is very well optimized indexed and submitted to uh, the Google and other search engines so let's see what happens. So I've said here, yeah, the question is, what does a person searching from Fishhook now do? So if I'm in Musenberg, or let's say I'm in Fishhook, now I want to know who is nearby that can do my panel beating and spray painting. That's how people think. They're not going to just do a general search. They're going to be wanting to zoom in, and they're probably just going to put in panel beater Fishhook, or panel beater Komiki, panel beater uh, um, uh, Um so that's that's how these searches work. The other thing that they might do, they might click and move the map to their area um, until they see their area and they, until they see the little red flags in their area. So they'll start seeing them. As soon as they zoom in, then Comicy will become clearer and all the maps in and around Comiki and Fisher Bill will become clearer and you'll see that in the next in the next one. Okay, this is this is the fifth a screenshot. And you can see what I've done now is what normally people will do. They've added Fisher because the search is too wide. The search is far too wide. <coughs> so they add the search term Fishhook. And or if you now see when you as soon as you put in the term Fishhook, what happens is also that a list of all the red you can see all the red flags have come up in that area. So the what the first visitor can then do is scroll down on the left hand side and look all for all the different businesses. Now, again for the person who's a novice, they don't know how this works and how to get closer or they forget about zooming in. Most people know if they look at Google Maps, they know they need to zoom in and they need to look around there. But let's say a person really doesn't know and they just use this bar. They're gonna get down to you now. I think you're about number nine or ten in this row. And again the reason is a lot of reasons but the main reason why you need to understand right now is although I've optimized your Google My Business 
and I've done a lot of work on the search engine optimization etc and put it, adding a website and all those what's going to happen is Google must first index that information what, what that means is it must first go and look through all updates it gets across the whole world and then it starts importing its data and updating its data in a massive massive world database you can think it's millions of data across the world so your the update takes of information and indexing by Google is going to take about six to eight weeks okay, I'm running ahead on one of the slides that's why you must understand you on lower here because number one our search is still wide it says Fisher um, and number two there are panel beaters in that area close in that area um, because the area of the map although it says Fishhook it's still quite a broad area and that's why you see you know the red uh, flags um, right right above um, above towards the right towards the the right and top side right through into sort of into town even but now a person will normally zero in because they want to look for fish what is in and around fish and in actual fact um, you will see that southern peninsula panel beaters is there which I, I seem to be that's one of your you put in another marker or you put in a sub a sub uh, a, a sub website or it might be part of your business I'm not too sure but that's what it seemed to come up in on your website um, but in that cluster right in the middle almost uh, the middle bottom section of the map is a cluster of a whole lot of red a uh, red uh, 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 flags and you are in there okay it's not that you are hidden it, well you are hidden in a sense because there's too many there so they just put them in random order okay that's enough for this uh, map I'll be going on to the screen six screen screenshot number six okay now this is something that might surprise you entirely look at how I've changed the search term I change it from panel beta with two words to ban panel beta with one word which is the search engine term that you've put in from and it's in your website and it's also in Google my business now I have change and put in new keywords to make it more friendly for indexing because up until this point before I actually did my work and we and had the, the data was already inside Google indexed inside Google it only had panel beta and spray painter or spray painting one word but in actual fact the right word is not panel panel beta it's panel beta it's two separate words which is why when I add panel beta into one word it picks up your keywords but it's not going to pick up uh, uh, um, um, other businesses in your area that also don't have panel betas so you can see there's only three that have are at the top in this picture on the left hand side there's contact panel betas there's southern peninsula beta panel betas and then there's yours panel beaters and spray painting okay so the, the the important message there is one has to have all the alternatives of keywords you have to have panel beaters one word panel beaters two words panel beta without the s one word panel beta with a space between and the same for spray painting and all the other things I've also made sure that the that the word uh, body works is also separate seen as a separate um, um, keyword because it's one of the, the important keywords that Google uses in their worldwide indexing so it's a wider term of auto body works for example as you know that's why it's a all auto body shop those are the ones that are Americanized and in the UK and all those kind of things so that's the terminology which one has to key into when you're doing search engine optimization and that's why Google my business asked or suggested those terms when the person uh, set up 
be able to set up your Google My Business. Okay, that's all for now. I just want to quickly go through this. So, if you can see that keywords are critical for um, power, the, the, the power of finding of finding someone, of a visitor finding a business. So we have to have the right keywords as part of the SEO and we need to have those keywords in the Google My Business profiles, we website, etc. and all the blogging and information that we use there. And then you need to do the same thing in your own existing separate website. Your webmaster needs to put in um, a rich amount of keywords and I don't know what those keywords are yet I've uh, actually there are I did send you that that um, I sent you that report that SEO and web optimization report and if you go and have a look at it you'll see uh, which are the keywords that are on your website in the back end okay then the last bit of information in the blue at the bottom um, I've just mentioned there what I said earlier on. You need to understand that the work I've done is going to take, uh, can take up to six to eight weeks to index and to reflect in Google searching. Now, the only, the, uh, the big positive situation, big positive thing is what I've just said now goes for websites in general any SEO and websites in general any optimization however with Google my business because it is the one of the products and applications of Google the indexing might happen and will happen a lot a lot quicker than that but we can need to monitor it and you can at any time uh, do this kind of search that I've done put in panel beta one word put in panel beta two words put in fishhook put in Cape Town, do a variety of searches to see how clients uh, will find you. Okay. But you are at the moment you are very, very well indexed. The only thing that's missing that I can't do at this stage is your website that and that your webmaster must do unless you give me access to that and I do it. But I don't want to infringe on what she's doing. I think she's done a marvelous job of your website. Okay. Anyway, my website report is there for her to have a look at. And in terms of what we, we're talking about here, maybe there's one or two other points. Okay, that's about it from me. Thanks for listening, and I wish you all the best. And if there's any questions, uh, Fatima, please uh, ask. And let, but let's do a discussion telephonically. This, this stuff is very technical and sometimes difficult to explain it. And that's why I'm going through the audio audio video route.